And today we will, we, are, we God, Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, will continue teaching on renewing the spirit of the mind. You said, Dr. Benny, why you kept keep repeating renewing the spirit of the mind? Because everything starts and ends in the mind. You live out of your mind. It's very important. Defeat and victories are won in the spirit of your mind. <coughs> Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 says, we went over that last week, says, God has delivered us, us from the power of darkness and translated us, 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 into the kingdom of his dear son. Into the kingdom of his dear son, which means that we are a citizen of the kingdom of God with special rights. Every believer, as a citizen of the kingdom of God, must renew their mind to know who they are and what God has redeemed us from. Well, today we will focus on the believer citizen rights. Your rights. You know, we would fight for our rights. That's why the Bible said, fight a good fight of faith for what God has done for us. Meaning that a good fight of faith is a faith that defend and receive what God has done. Every citizen of the kingdom of God have a right to know by wisdom, knowledge, revelation, and understanding Satan defeat at the cross. You have a right to know that. We should know it. Every person in the body of Christ should know without a shadow of doubt that Satan has been stripped of his power. He has no more authority, no more dominion over your life. And as we go for progressing this study, I will teach you where Satan is getting his power from to defeat you. I'm going to talk about that next week. Thank God for the Bible. Amen. You know, Amen. we thank God for the Bible. I, I wrote this down. I said, um, I was going to say, lift up your hands, your holy hands, and thank God for the Bible. If the Bible did not exist, we would have no way Hmm. of knowing hmm. that Jesus defeated the devil. Oh, my Lord. We would have no way of knowing that we could have hope in a time mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. This thing. This thing. This thing. Oh. If you didn't have this, to give you hope, to give you peace, to give you joy. Where would our mind be? We struggle with having this. Can you imagine if there was no Bible? And we take this book for granted. I don't know about you. This is my life. I'm alive because of this. Keep me going. What I want to give up, just tell me. Be encouraged. Lift your head up high and keep walking. The best is still yet to come. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But this Bible. Yes. The little young know, one used to say, Yes, Jesus loved me. Uh -huh. This I know. Why did you know that Jesus loved you, dear Tay? Because what? The Bible. The Bible tell me so. It didn't say mama, daddy, grandmama, grandpa. He said, I know Jesus loved me because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible tell me so. That I can win and have victory in every situation. The Bible said, thank be unto God which always causes us to triumph and victoriously in Jesus. It's not in the Bible, no, back it up against the wall and a situation arrive. I go to the word. David said, 
said, when the situations are over, taking me, I go to the rock. Oh, that's the cool. rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The higher than I. Yes. This battle. You should love it. To love this more than you love money. Because money, money can only take you so far. This Bible can bless you with money and bless you with a happy life. It give you both. Thank God for the Bible. I'm telling you, if you want no Bible, how would I know that Jesus strengthened and all his demons and all principalities power on the cross? Satan will continue lying to us, making us think that he has power and dominion over our life. Filling our heart with fear, gripping our heart at night. But, but God, but God. who was rich in mercy, yes. where would he love us while we were yet dead in sin? He had a plan. Thank God for the Bible. And I truly can say the Old Testament people, church, God people, did not have a Bible. And it's amazing to me how they would stand. They didn't have no Bible to read. They had one person. A prophet would come and tell them what God said. They had no Bible. They had to believe the prophet. But we have the New Testament. Yes. Jesus church that he redeemed, he gave us a Bible. That's why he said there's no excuse for this generation. I just thought I was just share that with you. And, you know, you'd be more mindful of your Bible. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Read it sometime. And when you read it, believe it. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. I didn't know you could be healed. The Bible, the Bible says that God sent so. forth his word and he healed them <laughs> and he delivered them from all their destruction. Yeah. That's how you know. Yeah. You would have no other way of knowing. Think about that. How do you know that God can save your loved one? The Bible says. The Bible declared that He will save your whole household so you can be at peace. Yes, oh, the answers. Everything you need, like Minister Thompson used to say, everything that you need is in the house, but everything that you need spiritually is in this Bible. In the Word. In the word. Amen. Oh my goodness. Every citizen of the kingdom of God has the right to know by wisdom, revelation, knowledge, and understanding Satan's defeat at the cross. I love to say that. The Bible reveals, how did I know? Satan's defeat at the cross. Turn in your Bibles, turn in your Bibles, or your cell phone, whatever you have. <laughs> Colossians 2.15. We went over this last week, so I'm just going to read it. Satan, uh, Satan uh, Colossians 2.15 says, On the cross, Jesus, Jesus stripped Satan or, and all his demons, all principalities and power of their power and authority on earth. First, John 3 and 8 reveals that the Son of God purpose for being manifested as the Son of God on earth. The only reason why Jesus was sent to earth. The only reason why he was manifested on earth. Read it. And having spoiled principalities and powers. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but um, I'm not a sorry person. First John 3 and 8. I just didn't tell you. First John 3 and 8 says, For this purpose, I'm not reading the whole verse. For this purpose, the Son of God will manifest it that he what? Might. Destroy the what? The works of the devil. They've been working on us. (laughs) 
I don't know about you. <laughs> I do know about you. The devil been working on every person that breathes on the face of the earth. He works on dogs, cats, whatever. He don't care. He's so low that he got any pigs. You know, Jesus cast the devil out. And then when he did it, they had enough nerve when he took the swine, the pigs, what you call it. So he'll have no respect for person. He has nobody as long as you're breathing. Faith and power is broken. And all his work has been destroyed. Hallelujah. He has won the victory. And Jesus is Lord. He has risen from the dead. And he is Lord. Psalm 24 and verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord, not the devil. And the fullness thereof. The world and all they that dwell therein. The devil owns nothing. Absolutely said. Say it again. Nothing. Say it again. Nothing. Nothing. He is, he has no power. No authority on earth. Every citizen must know by the wisdom, revelation, knowledge, and understanding that Satan has no power or authority on earth. And he has no power or authority over God's people. It's like the, I'm going to show you. You keep coming exactly. And I hope you cry. Where the devil is getting all this power that takes me through all these changes. Imagine you think that he is all of that. It's in your Bible that God stripped him of his power. And the Bible declares on the I can't put it in. Jesus said on the third day when he when he rose from the dead, he said, All what? All power. In heaven and the earth has and underneath the earth has been given unto who? Yeah. You have to believe that. Yes. See, we must believe that. It is not a shouting time for that. You can shout over it, but it has to be used Amen. for you to believe it. You don't need a whole lot of faith to believe that. All you need is must deceive faith. The Bible declares to us that if we have faith, it's Small as a mustard seed, nothing shall be impossible for us. It's in your Bible. You don't need great faith to get great things. Amen. You need small faith to invest in a great God. Hallelujah! <laughs> yes, Lord. It's not hard. All this time we were thankful for great things. We need great faith. No, you don't. All you need, God just said, I'm a great man. All you need is just faith as a small, as a mustard seed. How small is that? You can't even see it. He said, but if you put that seed in God, it will produce. Because that seed alone cannot produce. It needs an object. That's yeah. why you don't need a whole lot. When you plant a seed for a crop, you don't have to plant a whole lot of seed to have a harvest. You put one corn seed in the ground and bless God, that corn is shoot up and so many ends of corn you get off of that one seed. One seed. It wasn't the seed, it was the earth that produced the seed. If the seed would stay in the bag, it would never produce. You just have a seed. Come on now. But when the seed was invested in the earth, which is supposed to be invested in the earth, then it produced. Yeah. Just like faith. When we invest faith in God's word, have faith in who? God. God. To have faith in God, meaning that you put your faith in everything that God said. And you believe it. You have enough faith. All you need is simple. That's why the Bible says childlike faith. That's all we need. But we think we got a great faith. No, didn't bring me anything. I can tell you that. Forget it. 
That's, you must have seen faith. That's, that sounds so easy to the mind, doesn't it? Then that sounds so simple. Ooh, I, I, that, that's not hard at all, Lord. That's what God wanted, not to be hard to you. Yes. Amen. 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 But guess who wanted to be hard? Amen. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you why. Satan's power is broken and all of his works has been destroyed. I don't know why. You know, we make a statement a lot of times. We say, Satan is busy. I'm going to tell you why he's busy, where he's getting all his work from. And I'm going to seek and you find him. Okay? <laughs> okay. Every citizen, again, mine, must be renewed by the spirit of wisdom, spirit of knowledge, spirit of understanding. Our honest to goodness is one of the greatest besides salvation revelation that any mind can ever know to know that Satan is defeated, know that Jesus Christ destroyed his power, know that he cannot hold us in prison. The Bible says sin shall not have no more dominion over us. We are free. We make a choice what we want to do. Satan does not make the choice for us. We make a choice because we are God's people. We belong to God. We live in a city, a city that God translated us in, and that city is called the kingdom of God. That's where we are. And not only that, to top it off, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Ooh, the spirit of God dwelling us, we come down to Yes, see. Lord. Glory. Now, in John 14 and 20, Jesus said, at that day, Deep fresh, he said, I will not leave you comfortless. Mm -hmm. you, I will come to you. And he said, at that day, you will know that I am in the Father, and the Father's in me, and I am in you. Because I live, you shall live also. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to God. That will dig down in your sanctified soul, Jesus. Yeah. So because I live, because I you shall mm -hmm. live also. Mm -hmm. Why? He said, I will live in you. He said, I will walk in you. He said, I will be your God, and you shall be my people. That's in your Bible. To come out from among them, and I receive you unto myself. And I will be your God, and you shall be, you shall be my sons and my daughter. And I will be a father unto you. This is a plea that he made for his church that he redeemed. We are more blessed and awesome than we can ever realize. Because we base who we are on our victories and our defeat. I don't want to get ahead of my lesson. Whew, Jesus. Satan's power and authority on earth has been broken. All his works on earth has been destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. That's why God said, Romans 8 and 11, he said, the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead. Mm -hmm. The spirit mm -hmm. that delivered him out of hell raised him up from the dead. That same spirit, that same, that same Holy Ghost power, that same supernatural power Dwelling us. Hallelujah. We are awesome people. Everything takes place in this mind. Because yeah. this mind makes you think that you're not awesome if you make a mistake. And the Bible declares that there is now no more condemnation to them that are what? In Christ Jesus. He didn't say you wouldn't mess up, but he said, Condemnation wouldn't take you. 
Mm-hmm. He said, because of the law of the spirit of life have made every believer free from the law of condemnation, from the law of sin. We are free. Yes, we make a mistake, but condemnation has nothing to do with it. Ooh, hallelujah. But, let me just finish reading this. On the cross, Jesus, I don't know, I just love the sentence. I don't know if I too well I'm hearing it or not, but you hear. On the cross, Jesus, because I know what the devil has been doing to the church. Making us think that we have to do so much to defeat him. We fight against a defeated devil that has no power to strip of his power. We spend all this time fighting when we, our time should be spent renewing the spirit of the mind to fight a good fight of faith in what God has done, not fighting demons all the time. That's not to fight. You lose. There's nothing to fight. That's why you lose. My Lord. You fight in nothing. Amen. That sister Lyle had a dream of vision years ago. She said it with the church that God showed her with the believers with this fighting, this hitting themselves and fighting themselves, blood running all down. They're fighting their own self. You fight yourself. There's no devil. There's no principality and power. And I'm going to share this with you. You said, talk about it the Bible. said, okay, hold on. Let me get that. He destroyed all the works of the devil. But, but, he did not destroy their existing. The devil is a spirit. Mm -hmm. Evil is a spirit. Lying is a spirit. Defeat is the spirit. Unforgiving is the spirit. Uh, Backbiting is the spirit. Judging is the spirit. And of course, the list can go on and on. All these spirits live forever. They are eternal spirits. Spirits never die. Every spirit <laughs> that the believer were delivered from exists on earth around you today. That's why many you thought, you know, coming loop on, those spirits waiting. Mm. You start for power to get into that. They're waiting. Every spirit that you was delivered from still exists around you. Pastors used to call them familiar spirit. They familiar with you. They know your shortcoming. They know your weakness. They know how they had you before. So they wait around, waiting for you. They have no power, but they're waiting for you to give them power. Mm -hmm. And I will teach you, say you plan for gaining power on earth. We have a plan. And he's working it real good. Because he know how to work. That's why God destroyed his work. Because the man know how to work. He know how to work on us. I don't have no favor. <laughs> Lindsay thought you know what. God bless you. <laughs> I'm teaching the devil. Okay. So don't shout me down when I'm teaching you. <laughs> Every spirit has a God. What? And I believe it, because you know for yourself that every spirit that you were delivered from come back to haunt you at a certain time. It's nothing but the truth. You was an alcoholic and got delivered from alcohol spirit, they come back at a certain time in your weak life. Because somebody told me the other day, oh, I ain't not going to think. So you know what, Dr. Betty? I've been off of drugs for so long, but the other day the thought came to me. Why? Wow. That spirit said, I didn't die. I'm still here. Waiting for my mama. Oh, Jesus. What the first uh, Peter 5 and 8. 
It says the devil goes about, goes about as what? Did he say he was alive? No. He ain't like one. Mm -hmm. And when he rolls, we think he's real. Mm -hmm. He's frightening us. He, oh, oh, I'm frightened. Then you fill your heart with fear. As, as something means he's not that. He wants you to think that. Uh huh. And what did he roll out of his mouth? Your weakness that you had before you got saved? That's all he had to use against you. But he had it. He was working on you with that. He don't bring you nothing new. He bring you some old familiar stuff. Yeah. Am I telling the truth? Yeah. If you knew how to lie, what did he bring back? Lie. If you knew how to be evil and mean, what did he bring you back? He sat around waiting for you to be mean to someone. Oh God, God, there's no way that God said that he destroyed the spirit. He destroyed the work of the spirit. He stripped them of their power and authority on earth, but he never destroyed them. He cannot destroy spirit because spirit lives forever. That's why we are going to live forever in heaven or hell. You will never, 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 never die. Your flesh will separate from your spirit, but your spirit lives forever. All spirits live forever. Principality and power and, 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 and the evil spirit, they, God didn't destroy them. They still here. And, you know you, I, I bind, no, you know you bind them up, they still lose. <laughs> 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 Oh, Jesus, help us. It's not the spirit alone that you're supposed to bind up. It's you. Yeah. You, you, you. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Seeking. He go around seeking. Uh -huh. Seeking whom he may destroy. Why would God say he was seeking if he had all that power of men's and tongues and he won't have to seek around you, set around you, squat around you. He just move in and take over. Can't do it. Why would he have to be walking? Just walking, looking for somebody. Looking, 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 looking. Wait a minute. <laughs> just looking, set around you. Familiar spirit. Nothing that you're not knowing about. The spirit that he has you bound with. Those spirits walk about. Listen. What pastor called Southie? Look. <laughs> Waiting. We walk. Look. Look. All the spirit that you struggle with that God delivered you from, but He did not destroy the spirit. They're familiar with you. They know how hot temper you are. They know what take you off. They know how fearful you could be. They have spirit. Fear is a spirit. It seek around to come into mind. God bless you. We will continue this next week. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Love you.